So you're gonna find this funny. Some people dream about being doctors. Some people dream about being engineers. I dream about me working on my own car on a weekday, yes. And today I'm so excited because I finally got to do what I wanted to do for a very, very long time. I've seen a lot of people doing it on YouTube, big YouTubers, but for me, I managed to get those tools, which I'm gonna show, show you now. And I'm really excited about doing this. <laughs> They're not expensive, but you know what? <laughs> the fact that I'm able to do it, it's amazing. So today we're going to learn together on how to do brake fluid tests i'll show you brake fluid tests and the gasket test where you know if if the if the exhaust is going to the coolant we can test that and we're gonna do a coolant test firstly let's start with the brake fluid test and i got this from amazon i'll put the link in the description if you're interested in buying this one but you do not need to buy this one any generic one can work uh, but basically it will show you how much water uh, you have in the brake fluid basically it shows you if it's like one percent two percent three percent or more of course the more water you have that means you need to replace your brake fluid now the brake fluid on my car or my Range Rover L322 I have as you've seen previously I have replaced it recently so I should not have water whatsoever but let's see if I did something wrong so firstly we're going to start by removing the cable the sensor uh, should be easy just a clip that needs taken out and then we are going to move the cap you know what I'm gonna get some tissues so I can put the cap on the tissues so I'm going to remove the cap and gently put it on tissues try not to allow brake fluid on uh, any painted part or plastic and just keep it safe and the reason why I say that, because it can corrode your paint, uh, damage your plastic. So this is the tester and it comes with a cap. I'm going to open the cap and it looks like uh, two uh, metal pieces. And I think they go inside and just measure the water basically. So we're going to turn it on and you can see it's green now and that's off. Okay, now on. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but that's, that's how it looks like. And now we're going to put it in. Oh, turn it on. Put it in and see results. Hmm, green. Green. I dipped it all the way in and green. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. That means my brake fluid is absolutely fine because I recently replaced it. So, I mean, that's test number one and we've passed the test. Actually, I'm going to test it on a different car just to make sure it is actually zero. So I'm going to test it on the Porsche and see if it works or not. So I'm going to turn it on like so. I'll put it in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of okay. Or almost. Actually, almost it's not okay. So let's try it again. Yeah, that's almost not okay. As you can see here, so yeah, it works. So the Range Rover is okay, because this is in the amber, it's almost red. So yeah, it works and the Range Rover is okay. Let's move on to the next test. The next test is going to be about the coolant test and we're going to measure if the coolant is good enough for the car, i.e. it's not gonna freeze when it gets really cold. And of course we have here a few discs and each disc represent um, how cold can it go to before Obviously, it become useless or, you know, it's not efficient enough to uh, cool down uh, the car or uh, it can it have, it, you know, because if it's, if it's, if it have uh, too much solution. So it says here, if it's, the solution is too strong, it will actually reduce the cooling efficiency and uh, corrosion protection. So you have to have a mix between a coolant, basically, and like an antifreeze and water. In the UK here, I think this too should be enough minus 15 because it, I never seen it under minus 15 uh, Celsius, but let's see if it works here or not. Anyway, this is my first time to try it. So let's see if it's uh, going to work. We're going to take a sample from the coolant and put it here and we'll see how many discs will float. Okay, but we have to fill it all the way to the top. So let's see. So I'm just going to suck just enough. Let's see, a bit more, 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 a bit more. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. And that's it. Yeah. So that is enough. Let's see 
how many is going to float. I can see one is floating, the second one is floating, almost the third one. Can you see how it's three now is floating? Okay, so if it's three desks, it's supposed to be between, uh, well, minus 23, which is perfect. I think that's, uh, that's reasonable. So the three desks floating, minus 23, that's perfect. I think we've got a pass. Let me zoom out. So three desks floating, that's a pass. So, perfect. We can retest it again just in case. Let me, let me take some more here. A little bit, a bit more, 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 and that's it. Let's see how many discs are going to float. I can see one. I can see the second one. I hope the camera can pick it up. I can see the second one floating and the third one. Perfect. So three. So it's up to minus 23 Celsius or minus 10 Fahrenheit, which is uh, it's really good. That's perfect. So with that, with the coolant being success and with the brake fluid being success, let's move on to the last test, which I am worried about. So as a benchmark, we can see here it's working uh, with cold water from the sink. And uh, we have only one, one uh, disc floating. I can do that again. And you can see here one disc floating only. So yeah, the product works and we have three discs in a uh, Range Rover, so that's fine. So the way that this thing is going to work is we are going to open the coolant bottle or uh, the antifreeze bottle, whatever you want to call it, water coolant bottle. And we're going to install install this device here. Try to make it as much, you know, as, you know, seal it as much as possible. And then you can see here, it looks like bubbles. And we're going to add, I think, I think a bit, I forgot how much it is. I think we need to add some fluid. I'm not sure how much it is, but we'll check in a bit. And we need to fill it, I believe halfway. So let's see. So I think that much. I think that much is enough. And what we're going to do next is we are going to turn the car on and watch that fluid. This fluid should stay blue. If the fluid changed to yellow, that means gas, uh, well, the gasket from the head gasket is actually leaking and gas or the exhaust is mixing with the coolant but i'm going to turn the engine on so it's going to be loud so just bear with me you may not hear me but anyway let's turn the engine on see how it goes also i'm trying this with the car turned off uh, sorry like this uh, cold so just so you know it's not warm i hope i'm doing it right but i think i'm, I'm doing it right Let, let's see let's see how that works so i am going to turn the engine on now The instruction says that it should not be turning yellow and maximum I can run it is five minutes. So, but I have to rub it a little bit. Oh, that's too much. Okay, that's too much. Maybe a little bit. Wow, that's a bit violent. Let's rub it a little bit. You can see the fluid going up and down. So as you can see, it's been a few minutes and uh, nothing happened, it's still blue. So that means we have no problem with the head gasket, which is very, very good news. This, I'm happy about that. Uh, but as a benchmark, should we try on another car? Should we try on a Porsche? Because I'm curious. Let's try it on a Porsche. I'm a bit scared. But we're going to have to do the test so we can know if there's an issue or not. Anyway, let's try it. so loud it triggered the alarm for the uh, VW so no problem with the Porsche as well so that's great news we've got two healthy cars and we've done three tests uh, so I think that's great this is the results what I was expecting there is no drama unfortunately <laughs> for this video there's no drama but that's perfect for me because that means I can crack on with the other jobs and it gives me more confident that what I'm doing is right and I just keep working on the cars. I hope you have enjoyed this video guys. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. 
to see more content like this one. And with that in mind, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. What you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? And do you believe you can do anything?